Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Danielle Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Friday, May 22nd, 2020. Now let's go to Mr. Bardoni. Good morning, Patriots! Good morning, everyone. This is Mr. Bardoni and my daughter, Aiko. And today's Friday. What are we doing Fridays? Thank you notes every Friday. Good, yes, we are doing our thank you notes. And with that, well, let's begin giving our thank you notes. Thank you, Miss Anaya, for always being efficient in all you do, especially in completing the virtual learning agenda. Miss Cherizol. Thank you, Miss Cavalita, for providing detailed follow up emails for your team. We really appreciate you, Miss Tucker. Thank you, Miss Julian, for providing the documents for assisting with NWA. You always come through, Miss Tucker. Thank you, Miss Cavell, for being my go to person. You are such an impactful leader and always motivating me to strive for daily success. Miss Julian. Thank you, Anna Albrons, for always completing all your assignments on time and being so organized and responsible. Miss Ward. Thank you, Miss Walden, for jumping in and helping with mapping for standards at the end of the year. I sincerely appreciate you, Miss Maxwell. Thank you, Gabriela Hernandez, for staying on top of your online work, always showing up to check-ins, and encouraging your classmates to do their assignments as well. Love you lots, Miss Silvera. Thank you, Naomi Lopez, for being consistent in completing your work, seeking help when needed, and always looking forward to your daily emails. Keep up the good work, I am very proud of you, Miss Moraz. Thank you, Rayona, Rayona uh, Chirizal. For the past two years, you have been the most dedicated and the most pleasant student I have had an honor to work with. I wish you all the best in high school. Never change and enjoy the journey, Miss Dry. Thank you, Ms. Brayman and the entire special teams for your patience, friendship, positivity, and helpful nurture. Especially, thank you for taking the challenge during this new journey on online teaching. You are the best team ever, Ms. Tolentino. Thank you, Ms. C. Santiago and Ms. Cruz for your assistance with all the meetings we have had. You are both such a blessing for this Pines family. Miss Tucker. Lastly, thank you to Mr. Polly for all you do. We wish you a very happy birthday and have an amazing day. Thank you. With that, we want to wish everyone a happy Friday, okay? 
Enjoy your weekend. Have a relaxed, a relaxed full weekend. All right, and we will see you all next week. Have an amazing day. Bye. Have a fabulous Friday. Thank you, Mr. Bardoni. That was awesome. Now let's go to Jaden to see what's happening today in history. Thank you, Danielle. Today in history, on May 22nd, 1849, Abraham Lincoln receives a patient, being the only U.S. president to do so, for a device to lift a boat over shoals and obstructions. Now let's go to Nathaniel to see what to do today if you're bored and stuck indoors. Thank you, Jaden. Hello, Patriots family. Welcome to Things to Do if You're Bored. For today's craft, we're going to be making an awesome Father's Day gift with a special message. Here are the steps. Take a white sheet of paper and then fold a section of it. Then cut out the shape of a tie. Then, Draw stripes, dots, or any type of cool design for your tie. Next, color it and write a message on the back. Trace and color your tie. Then you're all done. Wow, wasn't that awesome? Now you have something great to give to your father for Father's Day. The winner of the quizzes was Sally Batkel, 5611. Second place was Miss Samuel's class. And third place was Rebecca Dilbert. Thank you, Chanel, for submitting your craft. Remember, if you do this DIY, send a picture or video to pies.renaissance at gmail.com and don't forget to check in tomorrow for the next DIY and stay creative! Now let's go back to Danielle. Thank you Nathaniel! Now let's go to Weather with Vani. Thank you Danielle! Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecasted to be 89 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Now let's go back to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, Bonnie. And here's today's joke of the day. Some Boy Scouts from the city were on a camping trip. The mosquitoes were so fierce that the boys had to hide under their blankets to avoid getting bitten. One of them saw some lightning bugs and said to his friend, We might as well give up. They're coming after us with flashlights. <laughs> now let's go back to Nino. Thank you, Sammy. That was hilarious. In admin announcements, teachers, please be on your Emoto page to welcome your scholars in in the morning. Attendance will be taken at some point each day. And lastly, teachers, please don't forget to provide our scholars with positive hero points. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats, Mr. Santiago, Ms. Gilbert, and Ms. Milholm. You had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, there's a one-story house in which everything is yellow. Yellow walls, yellow doors, yellow furniture. What color are the stairs? The correct answer to the riddle was, a one-story house has no stairs. Now for today's riddle. What goes up but never comes down? Once again, what goes up but never comes down? Teachers, please send your answers to hinds.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your responses to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a fantastic Friday. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day.